I'd like to welcome you all. Welcome to the 5D Academy of Higher Consciousness. Uh, I'm Zarathustra, your host, and I'm broadcasting live from Tulum, Mexico. Topic of the day, we're going to talk about following our intuition, following our heart, following our calling, and allowing the heart, the inner voice, to carry us and lead us and how basically there is a difference between the mind that's blah 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 and the intuitive knowing that is guiding us and eventually you learn how to tune into your intuitive knowing and align that part of you to message you and take the messages from that area in regards to getting lost in the world of the mind and then things can become very mindy and ego will talk over and uh, that happens to some people but as you get more in tuned you get in tune by with yourself what happens is that you begin to tune into your inner voice and hear your inner voice. Uh, one moment, I have no camera and mic today. Okay, I cannot hear you. I've tried both of the devices. Uh, Catherine uh, Ivanov, can you hear us now? I got it to work now. Thank you. Okay, you got, I got it, it to work now. Okay, cool. So we're good but you're still cutting in and out real bad i'm still what say that again yeah you're, still, you're cutting in and out uh I'm cutting, the yeah. audio and the right. visual <laughs> right yeah but I mean, i'll just uh, i'll just make do i guess but i can hear you yeah my laptop tells me i got five bars and i found a location in this hotel room that has the best connection so Zaratustra, you're good because i'm in los angeles and i hear you perfectly and uh, the screen is perfect so just FYI, okay, okay me, cool you're perfect that is not all right control, so. all right great because uh all right that makes okay that's fantastic because i was kind of concerned about my my end so i believe your, your internet is fine the other person is talking first I could uh, I couldn't hear properly her voice is cutting off right. so it seems something wrong with that side. Okay, good. So we're good. Cool. Thank you for the input. So for the moment, um, I would like to do a heart meditation and bring a, bringing us a shift from the intellectual understanding from intellectual knowledge into the knowing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna shift our attention and this is just an attention uh, shifting that. It doesn't require, this is not a mental exercise. So this is not like something that you have to put an effort into it. This is something that you simply shift your attention from a place that most of our lives were kind of identified to to a different part of us which is always here and it's the very underlying of our existence which is the heart the love so and the idea of this meditation is to simply showing the two different worlds that exist simultaneously that we're plugged into. And a lot of times in our lives, we shift. We go in the world of the mind that it's all knowledge, it's all blah, blah, blah. It's all about being in the past or projecting to the future 
That's the world of the, the mind, which is involved with the maya, the world of illusion. Or shifting from that and coming to the heart. And the heart is the world of knowing. And it, only, it knows, but it doesn't have any logic. It's just a place that simply you are aware and you you know you don't know how you know you just know it so when we shift our attention from putting our attention on our thoughts we're going to be shifting our attention to the heart and when you come to the heart you come to the presence it's not a mental exercise it's simply a shift of your attention you want to put your attention on your thoughts and what's going on in the world and the busyness or you want to shift your attention to the heart the presence here right now without a story there is no story you don't have a story you don't have a past and you're not don't have a future simply being here so let's do that and simply shift our attention bring your attention to this other part of yourself which is always here it never disappears you may not be in tune with it but it's here so for this you don't have to put any effort you simply shift and you come here you come dive into more in your heart dive more into presence in here and now this moment which is the only moment you have and maybe for some of you it works better if you put your hands on your chest area if it helps you you don't have to but simply they're shifting to this part of you and simply hang out here in this space without any effort without any agendas without trying to get to anywhere you're just practicing your natural state and that is to be here
simply diving into your natural state of being no effort effortless shifting your attention to the heart to the being simply hang out in the unified field of oneness in the presence allow the love of God love of the being reveal itself to you you are not separated from the presence of Her Majesty, the Supreme Being. The Supreme Being, the Supreme Spirit is in you, around you, and is carrying.
simply presence. Simply being here in this moment without a story. without an agenda in total trust the ability to learn to shut down all the outside noise and the noise of the mind and to retrieve into the heart space This is the moment. A journey from the head to the heart. from intellectual understanding to pure
space of surrender and presence. To go beyond the mind. Surrendering to what is. Trusting that God, the creator of this universe, is in control and knows what it's doing. the grand master, the grand intelligence. That which has created the universe that which makes the day turn to night and night turn to day It makes seasons come and go and it makes this planet to turn around itself and to, to turn around the planet Sun. That same intelligence is in your body and is running all your systems, all the functioning systems in your body. from your immune system, your digestion, your respiratory system, everything is being functioned by a grand intelligence, some highly intelligent being. Completely in control. sink into this space, my brothers and sisters, sink into the arms of Her Majesty, the Supreme Soul. Drop your resistance and drop this notion that you have to know what is going to happen and shift from that attitude into complete surrender that you don't necessarily need to know what's going to happen but you do trust that the intelligence her Majesty will carry you on as it has always. Use this opportunity to demonstrate your trust and your love of God. And Slowly, slowly shift and come back, 
come back to your senses from a meditative state of pure being and then you're shifting into you're opening up to your five senses your nervous system and you while you're operating from your heart and the state of presence now you're opening up the other gateways to interact but you still remain in a meditative state It's a very powerful time on this planet. It's unprecedented. It never happened before. That has been recorded in this way. Certainly not during our lives. There's a lot of uncertainties, a lot of fear, anxiety, unrest, all over the planet and 99 most people on this planet they are worried and concerned about what is going to happen what's going to happen to me and what's going to happen to my family my security my well-being this is a very common thought and concern pretty much for everybody. We, you have a very powerful intuition that you have been born with. And when you were a child, you could hear, you were in communication. And a lot of us heard voices we had guides maybe we had visions and we were seeing beings guiding us or communicating with us and then throughout the time gradually this disappeared because we civilization is designed to take us out of the meditative state and take us from the state of the heart and systematically condition you to go and shift into intellectual understanding and we're continuously being told to think 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 about the future worry about future and uh, feel bad for your past doing so our family, our friends, our schooling, our education is, is created to a system of blaming. So we naturally start to pick this up and we begin to blame ourselves for our past actions and we gradually go into this place of projecting <clears throat> what has happened in the past and taking the fear and the worry of the past and projecting it into the future and this is different than accessing your database of your past experiences and taking information from the past in order to apply it and to bring it into the present moment there's a big difference in that. So one really eventually needs to learn how to distinguish the two. Because there's nothing wrong with you going to your past and remembering some of the mistakes you made or some of the things have happened to you and using that information and making sure you're not going to fall into the same trap. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's accessing your 
the database of information which is available to you. So, and that happens with intuitive knowing. Because basically when you dive into your heart and you operate from this place, this place knows. Because this is where God is. This is where your higher self resides. This is where you get your information from your fifth dimensional self. The ability to know that you know. Once you kind of get away from the blah 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 which is here and you kind of sh block it off and you're not listening to what other people are saying or what the news and media is saying because everybody has a prescription for you. Everybody knows what you should be doing, doing and what's good for you. But out of that, you're the only one more than anybody else knows what's good for you. And you know, you have the knowing. Because despite what you may be thinking about yourself, it's time to recognize that there is a master within you. There is a guru inside you. There is a Buddha. There is a wise one within you. You carry this wisdom. And now it's a very good time for you to tap into it. This is an incredible time in our, it's an incredible opportunity because we're in a cooker pressure. We're getting cooked and all of these things are happening. And you, you're observing that things shutting down, things are getting tighter. And your freedom is getting more limited and limited. And before, you know, you can't even have the luxury of walking down the street and going to a cafe and getting a sit down and have an espresso. You can't even go eat out in a restaurant. And now we're taking, you know, which something we completely took it for granted because we never thought about it and now you're just dying for oh my god I can go sit in a restaurant and eat something and that's a huge thing you're just happy with that even if you have to go home at 10 o'clock at night you're happy you can go and eat somewhere so everything is shifting <clears throat> and of course naturally the mind is gonna come and haunt you and what it haunts you about is your main question to yourself down deep is what's gonna happen to me I want you to be honest with yourself and really look into it because yes I agree some of you will come and say well well I'm also concerned for my family I'm concerned for humanity Yes, I understand, I agree, but you're the very, very first question that comes for almost every human being on this planet is what's going to happen to me. And check it out for yourself. You don't need to tell me anything. You, you, you're welcome to share it with me if you want to, but This is where the honesty of the self and the self-realization and, and mirroring yourself and looking deep inside brings for you because this is a very, very special time. And one moment, I'll, I'll get you. It's a very special time. And it is a time that is for the truth. It's like you're forced to face with your 
existence. You are really forced to question things. You're forced to question your values. You're forced to question your spirituality. You're forced to question your government, the decisions, the world. A lot of things you're forced to look at it right now that we weren't looking at it before because there was no need there was no urgency but now is a different story you're forced to question things so I can have an attitude that this is a disaster, this is a really a tough time, this is horrible. Or I can have this attitude that, you know what, I am willing to let go of whatever future I may have, whatever story, whatever idea I had of my future. I'm willing to sacrifice it. So let's say I die in a week. I'm fine with that. But this time I have, I really want to be face to face with the presence of the being. I want to be face to face with God. Okay, I'm going to die in one week. I give it up. I give up my future. I give up my family. I give up people that I'm, atta I'm attached to, or my pets, or, or my money, and my, all the stuff I acquired, because a lot, we're all attached to things. But you know what? I want to know what the truth is. This is the end. And I'll let it go. And you know what? Let me see who I am. So, my question to you is, are you willing to die? Ask yourself this question. How serious are you about recognizing the truth of who you are? And are you willing to die for that? And if your answer is no, then don't waste your time running around reading spiritual books or going to different classes. Just quit it. And come back, come back next week if your answer is yes. If you're willing to die, and sacrifice everything for the truth of who you are I'm going to repeat myself if you're willing to sacrifice everything for awareness to be awake if you're willing to sacrifice everything if your answer is yes come back next week please and I will be your humble servant to help you but if your answer is no you don't need to come back you're not ready for this because this is a time that we have come to that it requires 100 percent of you if you want to shift not 95% but you know what uh, let me keep an eye on my cryptocurrency you know uh, let me have one hand into these investments no oh but you know I love everything but my granddaughter you know I have an attachment no you're gonna have to give her up and you're gonna have to let your cat go and you're going to have to let your daughter go. You have to let all of it go.
Check it out for yourself, my brother, my sister. You see where you're at. It's a very simple test. You will know where you're at. Because what is happening is no longer information, no longer intellectual understanding. It's over. It's not happening now. You can hang on to the past and wish it to go back, but you're wasting your time. This is something else. This is what it is right now. Quit hanging on to your past and what it used to be or what you want it to be. Dive in here into your intellect, into your intuitive knowing. You have your GPS. You have the voice. It's not your mind. It's the presence. And this is a golden opportunity. It's such a rare opportunity for the collective. Yeah, individually, there are people who get to this position in their lives like they're losing everything and they're forced to really dive deep inside. We all have gone that in our lives and we had to face ourselves. But right now it's a collective issue. It's collectively happening. But there is no way out. If you're going to stay in your mind, you are doomed to be crushed. The will is going to tear you apart and rip you in pieces because there's going to be a lot of fear, there's going to be a lot of uncertainty, there's a lot of systems changing, revolutions, riots, da -da -da -da, a lot of stuff happening. And any part of you who has any kind of attachment to any of these stories is going to get crushed because this is like God have stepped down on earth and says, you know what, enough is enough. Time to wake up. Time to recognize yourself. Time to shift from intellectual understanding to intuitive knowing. Intuitive knowing is not thinking mind. It's simply a calling. It's simply a draw. It's a desire. It pulls you towards someone, something, somewhere. Because you know it's right. You know you have to do it. Now the people around you telling you, no, think of this, think of that, blah, blah, blah. But something inside you is like, no, I know this is right. I need to move or I need to do this or I need to whatever you know it inside and you had it all your life but this is a moment that you need to rely on your intuitive knowing more than ever because everything else is blah 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 everything else is not real there's a lot of stories and these stories changing all the time Look, since the beginning of the COVID-19, how many stories we've heard? Which one am I going to believe? How many times government's been lying to us? Or telling you stories? Oh, we're going to shut down only for three weeks. And then we're going to open up. And then it's three months. Oh, you know what? This thing has muted, mutated and it changed to something else. So don't worry about the stories. It's time to rely on your intuitive knowing. It's time to dive into the master because the master is inside you and it's dying for you to recognize it. 
It's like, wake up. You know? Wake up. Just wake up. You're not a sheep. You're not in a slaughterhouse. You're not insignificant. Get out of this mode of being helpless. I don't know what's gonna happen. Get out of it. Of course you know. You've always known. Um, all of the years of, of spiritual training and everything has come to this pivotal point of show me what you got because the rest of it up to this point again I'm not talking about individuals because all of you at one point maybe you hit the point zero individually we all had stories we all have our background and we all individually at certain points have gone through something but now it's collective and now is a different story and you can't just be sleepy you can't be asleep anymore you can't just be in this la 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 I'm spiritual I read from Eckhart Tolle I watch a couple movie videos of Muji I meditate yeah but now you have to demonstrate what you've been doing you're forced to demonstrate because the world that you believe that was real is falling into pieces is falling apart and everything's revealing itself and you're starting to see like it wasn't real it's not real so it is giving you this opportunity to dive into what's real don't you want to take advantage of that I mean what else do you have what are you gonna lose that you're not gonna lose anyway if you're gonna lose everything why not give it a try? Why not? Can you move away from the blah, 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 blah and whatever ideas you have about how things should be, how things you want them to be, how things used to be can you step back from that and be indifferent to it and come over here and examine it let's do it right now let's come over here and examine it for one moment examine here you're quiet you're here in this moment honestly tell me when you're here in this moment in this place what does your heart tell you what does your heart say Let's be honest. Does your heart tell you that you're going to end? Or your heart tells you all is well? 
What does your heart tell you? Your heart, not your mind, not the media, not the system that brainwashes and is programming you. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the real you. The one who has brought you here on this platform. Some intelligence has brought you here. Something within you says, you know what, I feel this resonance with this man. For whatever period it is, maybe you like, you've been coming here for a long time, maybe it's short time, whatever it is, but you're here. And there's a resonance. Something says yes. And don't give it any definitions like, oh, I, I don't want to be his follower, I don't want to be his devotee, I don't want him to be my guru. Again, these are stories. Who cares? In a speck of time, in this moment, we have encountered with, e with each other. Let's not even make a story out of it. In this moment, there is an attraction. We're attracted to one another. We're attracted to this teaching. We're attracted to this presence. Something chemically, cosmically, is appearing between you and I. Something in the middle is gelling us. So let's not even give that a story. Tomorrow it may end. Two weeks from now you may come across another teacher and you really feel attracted to them and you don't want to come here anymore. Or you meet a beautiful man or woman and all of a sudden you're in deep love and you forget about everything. Or everything goes your way and you get everything you want and you don't feel like coming back. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Whatever is the story, but forget about the story. Let's not have a story with each other. Let's just simply be here. Something is happening here. We can't deny it. It's not bullshit. We both want something because something is feeding both of us right now. There's a power that comes through and motivates me and allows me to offer this webinar and make it happen and there's a power that makes you attracted and you do join in and come over here okay so we're here now together and something's gelling us just leave it at that point. Don't go anywhere else. Okay, some intelligence, something beyond my understanding is doing this. Do we agree with that? Can we, can we agree on one thing here? All right, okay. So what is it for us what is it in these few moments, precious moments that we have together, which we have no idea it's going to happen again, because I don't know if I'm going to be alive tomorrow or next week. We don't know this is going to happen again. The entire existence has to a agree on this event to happen. This is not just my will to say, oh, I'm going to be doing the Academy webinar every Wednesday. There's millions of different elements of universe. They have to agree on this event to happen. Internet, lighting, electricity. Maybe there's a big storm coming here. Maybe there's a hurricane coming. Maybe something happened to me, I'm riding my motorcycle here around and then somebody hits me. 
and I break my leg. Maybe I get drowned in the ocean. Maybe I get sick, food poison, whatever. And then I can't do this for three weeks. Maybe something happened to you. You can't come. We can't take any of it for granted. Everything is here and now, right now. Everything is in this moment, right now. Take it or leave it. Don't postpone anything to any other time because this is the only time that we have. And with this only time we have, my brothers and sisters, what do you want to do with these few moments you have? What do you want? Are you willing to die? Are you willing to let go of all your ideas and come to this place, meet me in this place of not knowing because I don't know. I had dinner with some people we were talking last night they really like me and they were very attracted to my name and everything. And they were saying, Oh, Zarathustra, da 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 da, uh, you, you must know everything. And you're, they checked my Instagram, my website, and they were like very impressed. Oh, wow, you know everything. And I was like, Dude, on the contrary, I don't, <laughs> I don't know anything. There's wisdom that appears. Yes, there's wisdom. But that wisdom leads me to this place of being humble enough to say, I don't know, because I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know wh where this whatever is going to go. But I know I'm here and I know here right now in this moment all is well. Few things I know, a few things, there's not too many of them, I'm being honest with you, I'm not being trying to be showing off. Few things I know. Something inside me knows. Something inside me says, Zarathustra, I've been hearing this in, inside my heart. Go to Tulum. Go to Tulum. You gotta go to Tulum. You have to go to Tulum. And I made an effort to come here a bunch of times. It wouldn't happen. And finally it was like, you know what? Okay. I'm just going to go to this place and see what's there. I don't know. There must be something that is, keeps saying, go, go, go. Okay, I'm here. But even here, I'm not sitting here waiting for some kind of magically Christ or two fifth dimensional angel of light. It's appear into my room. Yeah, I'm here. Okay, if this is where God wants to bring me in this moment, cool. We'll see what happens. But you rely on that. You learn to trust your power. You trust your intuitive knowing because it's a lot different than your mind the mind is blah 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 and as you tune in more 
as you learn how to be quiet as you learn meditation as you devote yourself to awareness you make awareness your number one priority in your life and you never compromise awareness you sacrifice everything for awareness but you never compromise awareness for anything so you learn to shift from an intellectual knowledge information into the presence you use this opportunity because you have nothing to lose there's nothing to hang on anything you're going to be hanging on right now will disappear anything you thought from the system, from the government, from the king, from the queen, from president, from money situation, from the governments, from civil rights, from whatever it is that you could hang on to, it destroys, it disappears, it betrays you, it, it reveals itself that it's a lie. So don't try to hang on to an object that is going to save you when you have the most precious wisdom within yourself the power of the true self the power of love your divine being that has guided you here bring your attention in this direction it's just the attention I can sit down and I have friends family that all day long from 7 in the morning they just turn on CNN listening to the news 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 I'm not telling you don't listen you know I don't listen to any of this stuff but I'm not telling you what to do okay do what you want to do but I'm just sharing with you is if I sit down and listen to CNN by noon by one o'clock I get anxiety I start having anxiety but if I'm listening to some classical music and I'm in my heart and I make my breakfast and I make a great coffee and I, you know I may go to the garden and clean up a little bit and I do my work and I'm writing something or I'm working with my my life training program clients then I'm in this really tranquilo state of really the juice comes back because my attention is on on the juice is my attention is on the love this is not brainwashing this is not wishful thinking this is being smart this is not being an idiot this is not being a robot this is not being mindless that I am a robot I am from Norway I like to <laughs> or whatever Oh, I am American this is intelligence that you recognize what is going on what is happening in the world and there's not much I can do about it it's too big too much bigger than me so instead of putting my attention on it and trying to figure out and fix it I bring my attention to something deep and real I use this opportunity and I hang out with the presence
whatever that is. Like, let's say I want to meet some friends and my family is like, oh, no, you can't, you know, you're going to get COVID or don't get in a plane travel and you're going to get COVID. Yes, it's possible I get COVID. It's possible I die from it. I understand. But something inside me says, Zarathustra, don't worry about it. You're okay. I've been living that life all my life. I check check out what's happening here okay I'm driving somewhere really dark and kind of shabby at night dangerous and I check in with myself and something says says don't worry about it go and I go or something inside says ah uh, it doesn't feel right and I don't Again, I'm not telling you, I'm not giving you a formula of following me. I'm giving you a formula of paying attention to your intuition. Because something inside you knows. And that could be the other way around. So you're invited to a small birthday party with your friends. And something inside you says, no don't go there you may get COVID it's not the mind something inside says ah uh, I don't know about this follow that pay attention because this one knows what's up dive into the heart that's your only sanctuary. Dive into meditation. Keep the company of the wise. My teacher, my sad guru, Papaji, always said, keep the company of the wise. So what he was saying is, find the enlightened beings. Find the beings who have freed themselves and be in their company because everybody else is in the maya everybody else believes the world of mind is real and the world that we're dealing with is real You have to find the wise one who has arisen above this and has come to the truth of who they are. And they have freed the, themselves from the world that is changing all the time. And they have discovered something unchangeable within themselves. Those are the only people who can help you. Everybody else is headed for the slaughterhouse and they can't help you. They got a lot of ideas what you should do, but they're in the dark. So rely on your intuition, shift your attention. There's a voice inside you that tells you what's right, what's wrong. And a lot of you, I know a lot of you are tuned in, you know, I'm not talking to little kids. And uh, it's not like you don't know what I'm talking about. You've been around for a long time. But I'm just reminding you that this is a time to get more tuned in and get more 
dialed into this the presence recognizing the presence you have God inside you you have the presence all around you what, what is your problem what are you afraid of Oh, I'm very spiritual. I've been a healer Zarathustra for 20 years. I was with Muknananda. I, I saw Nim Karoli Baba. I've been on the path for all these years. Great! Then you know how to trust God. Then this is the time not to worry about dying or what's going to happen. It's too good to be aware of it and be sharp but not to buy into it. It's a time to come here, to the presence here, right now. Check it out. Check it out for yourself. In this moment. What's missing in your life in this moment? If we take that, if we disconnect the past moments whatever happened in the past and whatever is going to happen in the future and we come here right now check it out what's missing right now is there something missing are you hungry are you thirsty you don't have a roof over your head someone beating you are you suffering I'm not talking about pain. Pain is different than suffering. But what's missing in your life right now in this moment? Not your ideas of how things should be. What's missing in your life right now? Is something missing? You come back here. Because this is your test. Because this is what existence wants to teach you. And if you follow and devote yourself, then you're worthy of self realization. You're worthy of freedom because you have pass your exam. This is examination time. This is a time for the spiritual warrior to demonstrate the power of love that you possess. This is your moment right now. This is what we've all been waiting for. All the spiritual books, all the encounters of all the seekers with their masters. Like how Rumi met Shams. How Papaji found Ramana Maharshi. All the struggles of these seekers, they went through what they had to let go and their encounter with their sat guru and my most favorite one is rumi you know rumi have you heard of rumi yeah right and how rumi encounter shamsa tabrizi which is his sat guru and that story it just blows me away and next week maybe i talk about the yani the power of the master and the different stories about all these famous seekers including Siddhartha who became Gautama Buddha the challenges that they went through what they had to go through in order to come to self-realization in order to come to complete liberation Liberation is what? Liberating yourself from the maya, 
the world of illusion, the, our world which is falling apart, that's the world of the illusion. It's not a disaster, it's not a bad thing what's happening right now. It's really a gift because it's going to give us an opportunity to awaken, to become liberated, to enlighten. Which probably it would have been very, very difficult collectively for us to do it if everything is rosy and peachy and everything's going our way and it's business as usual. I think I've said enough so if there's any questions any comments if anybody would like to ask or share any of your thoughts I'm here for you I'm available I'll be happy to the best of my ability to share with you what I what I know I uh, actually speaking uh, thanks uh, Irina actually we will have a uh, another day uh, I feel like this is a time for me to um, even though for me like it's a time I, I have been traveling and I'm uh, seriously considering for relocation and uh, questioning where I'm living right now so uh, so I'm kind of on a hunt like where am I going to be living and of course that takes a lot of time and energy to to do that but also in the meantime I, I feel that uh, I need to give more and uh, so I, des I designed a seven day free online self-awakening workshop it's uh, the title of it is uh, rebirthing the new you and it's a online course that I'm going to be offering in three weeks it's going to be from February 20th to the 26th two hours a day and we're, ha we're going to have it on our website today so all of you are welcome to join in and let your friends brothers sisters know so and we'll put more light on this path that we're on and what is going on so thanks Irina for bringing it up I appreciate it yes we're going to have a workshop I'm also um, a lot of my students uh, have graduated from I do uh, have a uh, it's called life training program this is a one-on-one -on -one private uh, tailor-made program that I have designed it's called life training program it's for the serious spiritual seeker who's committed to put in three months of their time and I will design a specific tailor-made program for your specific needs and I will work with you uh, every week and I give you homeworks and uh, we check in with each other to see how you're doing and the idea is to help you accomplish your goal and uh, if you're interested you're welcome to write to me at my email uh, info at zaratustra.tv and then uh, I'll set up a consultation time it's a free consultation and we talk about your needs and then in that we determine whether if you're the right candidate for this this is going to help you or not and then we go from there so um, feel free to reach out and then I'll share with you how much it costs what is it you need to do what it entails um, it's called Life Training Program. It's on my website. It's very hot here. <laughs> and I'm sweating. So, um, 
Also, uh, I'm not sure if this broadcast is going to go on YouTube. I, I have to see what Amir thinks about it. Um, but definitely we're going to put it on a podcast. And my YouTube podcast, uh, Facebook and Twitter account and Instagram, it's all Zaratustra 5D. And my website is Zaratustra.tv. So feel free if you want to write an email to me or reach out. I know some, some of you write to me on my Instagram or Facebook. I always do my best to respond and check things out. Sometimes it's a little bit difficult. You're traveling and you're, you're not really, you don't spend very much time on a computer because you're just involved doing other things. So be patient. I'm not always like on top of things but uh, I'll try to get back to you as much as I can. And I appreciate your comments. If there is something wrong, something we can improve, if you have, I don't know, complaint, I'm open to it. Uh, feel free, write it to me. Uh, if I look at it or any comments or something I can improve or you find something wrong in my website, something's not functioning please let me know where we are a small organization hi candace Hi. i just want to say that i think we all love you very much oh <laughs> so sweet thank you i i do sincerely feel the love and um, it's very motivating Sometimes the question rises, the thought comes, and it's like, why are you doing this? And who is there in, to enlighten? Because every single human being is already enlightened. Every, everyone is God. And it's like the mind comes and says, Zarathustra, you already know everybody's God. So who's helping whom and for what? And maybe this is an ego trip. The thought comes. I've looked at it, and I know it's true that everybody's God. I see that beyond the mask of everyone. But also something greater than me m makes me do this. And when I don't do it, I, you know, sometimes maybe I don't have the academy for a couple of weeks. And then I miss you guys so much. It's like a love affair. In a very interesting way. So I do appreciate your presence. Thank you. Now the shy part of me is getting really shy. <laughs> Okay, anything else? Anybody else? No? Okay. Well, thank you very much for your presence. Thank you for joining me and uh, send you a lot of love and light and sunshine and warmth from Tulum, Mexico. Uh, I love Mexican people. I love their culture. Um, I find them really loving people and really in their heart. And uh, I really would love at one point in my life to live in this culture and get to know, get to learn the language and, and get to know these people uh, more because I, I, I know they're in their hearts. So I'm, gra I'm very grateful for this country to invite me and so I can be here. And I'm very grateful that we can connect through this way. So we'll have another academy next week and I look forward to seeing you. And by next week, hopefully I figure out or find a different place that it can be cool and not close to the road so it's not noisy
You can't have it all. <laughs> I mean, you try to put everything and at one moment you have it all, but then something happens in life and everything changes. And we all done that. You got it all perfect and it's happening for a short period of time and then something happens and it all falls apart. So it's like you got to let go of the idea of having everything perfectly in your way. And it's amazing how life is showing you that because it was like I was really paying attention finding a, another place which is bright and it's got internet and it's quiet and, and it's funny none of it really works. Namaste. Oh. Loving you all. And stay in your heart. And don't forget the power of love and the power of your presence of who you are. Don't discount yourself. Because you're the one you're looking for. And what you're looking for is already inside you. Don't forget that. Even if you don't feel it, don't forget it. Love you all. Thank you for being with me. Namaste.